Hey guys, what's going on? And these are my top city tweaks of January 2014. Now coming in at number 1, we have Blord. Now the default keyboard to iOS 7 is white in color. Jump into the settings of Blord and enable it. Jump back to any app which invokes the keyboard and boom, it's black in color. Now this helps to go easy on the eyes in certain lighting situations, which is mainly what I use Blord for. Now I highly recommend you check this one out. Next we have Barrel. Now I've covered this previously on the show, but for new jailbreakers since the iOS 7 jailbreak was just released, as you could tell as I was transitioning from page to page, I had that cool little animation effect. So I'm just going to set to another animation called Curl and Roll Away. And as you can see as I'm transitioning from page to page, I do have this Curl and Roll Away effect. Now I'm just going to set it on random so you can see a couple of the transitions that are available for barrel. So they are really cool and I highly recommend you check it out if you're into uh, customizing your device to the fullest you can. Next up we have Activator and what it does is it allows you to add app shortcuts to your um, uh, device which is as you could see when I double tap my status bar it did lock my device and I didn't do it a conventionally way by hitting the lock button. So let's jump into the activator app and let's just say I choose when I'm at my home screen then I select to do an icon spread which is basically spreading your springboard with two fingers and it's currently activated to activate my switcher which is why when I spread my fingers across my springboard it did activate my switcher. So that's basically activated, definitely go check this one out. Next up is one of my most used Cydia tweaks of all time and it is called Flux. It basically allows you to adjust the color temperatures of your device throughout the day so it allows you to go easy on the eyes. It also has um, temperatures you can refer to so if I leave it at that it's basically the same as fl fluorescent light or if I just increase a bit it will be midday sun and then it will go to iOS default. So you can adjust your uh, your color temperatures however you like. I specifically like it in my own certain way as it goes easy on my eyes and I highly recommend you check Flux out. So next up we have transparent volume and this is our last tweak for today. Basically it makes your volume bar a bit more transparent. It's hard to tell now but let's just jump into the settings and let's make it um, the opaque the most opaque it can go let's back out and invoke our volume switcher so that's opaque let's bring it all the way down to translucent and boom you can see that i can see kind of see through my volume switcher so just adjust it to the amount you like and you have a customized volume switcher so if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel as it does help me out a lot. And I'll catch you all in the next video.